This is a problem that I saw on Instagram the other day. Uh, I found it interesting. So, of course, there is a, you know, if you can do this logically, but, uh, you know, let's try to do this systematically. This is a part of simultaneous linear equations. Simultaneous linear equation is usually taught in class 9th or 10th. Uh, uh, I think in IGCSE board they teach this in class 8th also. So, let's try to do this. Uh, systematically okay now what I will do is I'll assume that uh, the height of the cliff is uh, let me assume height of the cliff to be C so this is the total height of the cliff and let me assume that the height of the toroids is T so we are doing this systematically so what is the information that I get from the first figure? The f information that I get is that uh, C, height of the cliff minus height of the tortoise is uh, C minus T and this is equal to 200. Yeah, and uh, now let us get information. So this, this is our figure 1. This is our figure 2. So what is the information that we get from figure 2? that uh, height of the cliff plus height of the tortoise is equal to 230. Yeah, now students who have some basic idea of solving uh, simultaneous linear equations will understand that if I add the two equations, if I add the two equations, if I add 1 and 2, add 1 and 2, Uh, this thing will cancel off. So my 2C would be equal to 430. Therefore C is equal to 215 centimeter. So height of the cliff is basically 215 centimeter. So this cliff is 215 215 centimeters and now you can understand uh, you look at this figure it is very obvious that this is 215 centimeter this is 200 centimeter so height of the tortoise would be 15 centimeter so this is how you know you can use maths to solve uh, viral social media problems also i hope you found it interesting